As Amazon sellers, we want our products to be unique and innovative. But what does it actually mean? What does it mean to be innovative and how can be innovative? So that's what we are going to be discussing in this video. What are the different elements to be innovative? How, how can we be more innovative with our products, with our product listings and so on. So hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So let's talk about designing innovative products so creating a larger brand impact and actually one thing about innovation that it, uh, and i know that so many people usually think that okay innovation i mean that has to mean some really massive thing so innovation is something like grandeur and it means that okay we take completely new product to the market that the market has never ever seen so it's really this grandiose like genius kind of thing but i mean that really doesn't i mean sure i mean it's innovation but innovation doesn't necessarily need to be that big and we can pretty much have this innovative approach to everything and innovation can mean really really like even like really small things and uh, one thing that i definitely like um, encourage you to do with your team members and uh, or if you don't have a team members then then uh, with your business partner is to have these like weekly brainstorming sessions because that's a really good way how to make people more creative and how to make people more innovative and so on so like this weekly brainstorming session but yeah let, let's not talk about how to make people creative let's just focus on in this innovation innovation itself so how to design an innovative product additional design ideas and some essential things to have okay so what is innovative product i mean sorry it could be something that is completely new so let's let's, let's take that okay we would release some kind of new product new completely different type of new new kind of phone that i mean really disturbs disturbs the market and takes over like a wildfire but i mean if you just think about it, it just means that a product that stands out from the competition by being both visually distinctive and functionally useful to its intended market so key thing here is that it has something that the competitors do not have because if it's some kind of feature that all the other competitors have, then, I mean, we are not being innovative. We are just copying, right? So we could actually approach this uh, in much more uh, like delicate manner that, okay, I mean, we need to, by, by definition, it means that we need to have something that the competitors are not having. And one thing is that, uh, is, is being useful, right? Right. So being functional, being some kind of uh, be, ha having some kind of uh, uh, way way to, way to use it. But another aspect is also also about visual, like being innovative in in visual manner. Yeah. So okay, why should we innovate? Why should we even bother? Well, the thing is that. Usually customers want to have something new and customers tend to have this strong preference for new, distinctive and unique products. And uh, if we think about the buying behavior of human beings, I mean, they are pretty obsessed about new things. And, uh, and, and, and I actually recognize this behavior in, my, in, in me as well. And I'm not an uh, active buyer at all. Like, <laughs> Uh, very rarely I'm actually buying, uh, uh, I mean, I'm not buying, at, I, I usually buy, I, I'm not like a typical consumer in that sense that usually I buy for need. I don't buy for things what I want because usually I like to approach things from like minimalism and like scarcity, meaning that I don't really need anything. I don't need any new fancy stuff or new things or whatever. 
but I want to buy, which means that I force myself into just buying or uh, like approaching buying solely from uh, or mainly from this need basis. But of course, like when you have family and, and kids and stuff like that, I mean, that kind of destroys the whole thing, right? But <clears throat> anyway, even if I buy really rarely, I still no notice the same kind of behavior in myself that i mean i like uh, i mean you when you buy something you knew you get this kind of like enjoyment you you no, notice this kind of like chemical rust in your brains but i mean after you have received the product whatever it is i mean it tends to wear off and if you want that kind of same uh, chemical uh, cocktail in your brains then I mean, you, it basically only comes from buying something new. And some people are like uh, obsessed or addicted to these kind of like pleasure cocktails. So that means, and the, that means that only way they can actually uh, please that need is just to be buying all the time. So all of us, I think all of us have this built in that we have the desire for something uh, new. But yeah. Okay, so if you are innovative, then it means that we are actually serving something that uh, most of most human beings actually uh, desire to have. Then, I mean, I mean, it's really important to outrun the competitors. And for example, the company 3M, who uh, that does these uh, post-it notes, they're one of the most innovative companies in the world. And one of their like like uh, motto is that whatever product sales today will not sell tomorrow so that means they are forced to come up with new products all the time and it doesn't mean like uh, 100 it, it just means like newer and better versions all the time so it's a competitive advantage and then once we have uh, uh once we are selling something that other competitors are not once we have features that competitors do not provide and if these features are something that the audience wants then we can pretty much set the price that we really want to have so and this means then more profit and then this is also a way how to stay relevant in the market and having this ability to go and improve over time but yeah okay what is what are the different elements of an innovative product and if we take this product as an example i mean leggings I mean, uh, women use this for um, for working out or whatever. And uh, I mean, th th those things have been around for decades or whatever. So, I mean, how could you be in innovative in, in this kind of product? But the thing is that, okay, it's just all about identifying a clear purpose and make that purpose apparent also in its design, like make the interactions with the product expressive and interesting for the users and it doesn't matter like what we sell if we sell like screws or hammer or whatever th th there's always a like possibility to do these kind of things so we want to solve these different veins in an elegant manner so how can we make simple workout leggings more innovative well i mean uh common problems with those might be that they were really boring and plain colors and uh, I, mean, I don't know I guess they, they might be uncomfortable to wear and not uh, plus size friendly or whatever so if we identify these kind of problems then uh, how can we actually um, not only need not only solve those problems and meet the customers needs but how can we actually make it part of the design so then it's actually more uh, uh, visible the thing that uh, that the solution for the problem so they, this would mean okay offer more bread like uh, fabric that breathes and stretches easily adding these trendy and press color variants adding features that really makes the customer feel that they are more physically fit wearing it which actually sounds ridiculous like okay when you put a pair of pants uh, on you feel that you are more more um, more fit just by wearing it and i yeah i mean it sounds ridiculous but thing is that like often 
like uh, when, when you put on your like workout thing or uh, whatever what what for it for it is I mean especially for women uh, it's understandable that they put that a lot more effort in the in the outfit and it gives them this um, impression that hey I already feel better just by wearing it okay let's take another boring well I mean uh, yeah I mean so, someone could definitely call like like these uh, leggings as boring product for sure let's take another boring product then so let's take this decoration thing so one another aspect is that um, providing these uh, experiences and not just experience but actually providing something unique in the experience that the product gives so then it's not only about the product's look and feel, it's about the interaction process and how users experience this product. So let's say that we are in this decoration list and one of the board product is wallpapers. And what kind of excitement wallpapers usually have? I mean, it's just to decorate the room and it doesn't give this... Um... Sure, I mean, it can be... Uh, it, it, it actually has really really important uh, element in uh, i mean setting up the atmosphere of the room but i mean it's not it i mean i wouldn't call it that it call it as a uh, exciting product so what can we actually do so common problems with this decorative ideas might be that you need a professional help to put in uh, to uh, actually to attach it attach it to the wall so you cannot do it alone, you need actually some help. So what about if we actually make that kind of uh, as our like competitive advantage, meaning that we just provide some kind of easy and instant way to put it on. So offering some kind of uh, adhes adhesive or giving, I mean, it has to be some kind of feature that is just makes it super easy to attach or then additionally, or only just giving these uh, instructions that are just super simple to understand. And so maybe we are not able to provide these uh, ways how to feature, how to like attach it easily, but at least at mini bare minimum, we can give uh, instructions uh, to do this. Then let's take another not so exciting product. So these uh, coloring pens. I mean, is this an exciting product? Well, I mean, at least for adults, no, no way. I mean, not not at least in my, my opinion. So how can we innovate with a product like this? Is there any, any way? Is there any possible way? Well, I mean, what we can actually do is that we do just this one thing extremely well. So we find this essential function and make it really good with emphasis on simplicity. So we have these color principles and I mean, the function is super simple, right? It's used for coloring. So how can we actually make this exciting? Uh, well, I mean, let's approach it from the uh, problems, right? Because, uh, Usually best better way is just to start uh, thinking about the problems before uh, creating a solution or creating a feature, right? So, I mean, common problems might be that it's not pigmented enough. I mean, the colors are not vivid enough or then the, it's a rough texture or it's easily fading over time. And uh, I know, I mean, my daughter is 88 years old and she uses this a lot so she's drawing all the time and one thing she actually complains with different kinds of pencil is that the sound that they make and it, de it definitely makes a difference like what kind of paper you use and then the, what kind of like pencil it is and so on so we could actually take these problems and start figuring out a way that how can we solve these problems and how can we actually make the competitive advantage how can we make this um, issue into uh, so something that we can use to stand out 
So researching this and solving this issue. Then let's talk about uh, like additional designs. So one thing that we can do is that, okay, let's take a look at this product over here. So, I mean, is this exciting product? I mean, it's used to pretty much like uh, clean the display of your phone. So it just means that, okay, you just spray the, spray the thing and then just wipe it. I mean, that's not exciting at all. But how can, we, how can we actually make it more innovative? So we just basically just combine two different products. So we combine two related products into one and then they will actually serve as a dual purpose. So let's say, I mean, the product is a laptop screen cleaner. I mean, you can add this spray together with it to make it more functional than just a plain basic screen cleaner. And here, Stuffed animal. What could we do with a stuffed animal? So we can add on the self technology, meaning that we don't even need to innovate with anything. We don't need to create new technology. We don't need to uh, like spend uh, large amounts in some kind of design. We could actually just take something that already exists and boom, just add it to our uh, existing product and then come up with something more so, something that like something that is unique and something that is different than than competitors are doing so i mean this here is i mean it's just a stuffed toy for a baby and adding some something like inside of it like like a speaker to play this lullaby song so this is just to need to weigh how like a simple product can be done uh, differently but yeah, so the thing is that uh, what, what we, like, especially if we are doing, uh, taking this, that we are taking different elements, different like features, different, different like technologies into our product. So we are just tapping onto technology that is already there. And then, I mean, then we definitely need to consult a patent lawyer. And it doesn't really, even cost that much it just means that we could just pay some lawyer like a few hundred bucks maximum like thousand bucks to check this uh, check it for us then if we are designing something completely new then we definitely let's say that we want to do completely new set of like molds or something like then we need to get help from a designer and nowadays, I mean, it's possible to use this, uh, I mean, mold makers and it's much more affordable than it was like, let's say 10, 15 years ago. So it's much easier process nowadays to do this prototyping. So we, we just uh, like contact these different kinds of facilities that, that are able to do prototypes and basically take it from there. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like this topic. And if you would like to join our group where we discuss these things, then just comment group and we will reach out to you to add you to that group. So see you there.